Hey everyone, how's it going? Mike here with Trustless Collectibles, and joining me today is Randall Shizukatz. Today we're going to be showcasing a Mob Cycle 100 vs. 7 Deadly Sins gameplay video. Both of these are English original sets, so we'll see how they line up against each other. I'm going to be playing the Mob Cycle deck. I'm going to be using the level 1 Cherokee Choice combo into the level 3 Ishiguro Red Gate combo. And I'm going to be using the Elaine and Bond double combo with the Gate Climax and the Meliodas top end. So unfortunately, this is not a matchup where I'm going to be able to utilize the Anti-Burn too much, but his Ishiguro combo does require reversing for part of the combo, and this level 3 line does have a reputation of being absolutely massive. Just so. huge so power lines. Let's see how these two decks mm -hmm. stack up against each other. Let's do it. Now one great thing about the Meliodas is, you know, the best part of the card is the fact that it has anti-burn, but outside of that, you know, 15k, hexproof, healer, you know, not too shabby at all. Another uh, interesting point about these two decks is both of our level 1 combos are fairly uninteractive. Uh, technically, yours isn't a reverse combo, but your card does have to uh, survive mm -hmm. when he attacks, so we'll see if that potentially becomes a, an issue later on. Alright. Alright. One, two, three. I will never go first. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Um, I think with this hand, I'm actually just gonna throw the whole hand away. Okay, that's uh, music to my ears. At least he doesn't have Go Thunder yet. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> I will pitch three. Yeah. You know, you know what June says: the the five card Mulligan is the best Mulligan. Mm -hmm. right? It's a free mill five. All right, let's it see what we got. Actually. All right, we got the boy. Oh no. <laughs> All right, me going first. Draw for turn. We're going to clock a Merlin brainstorm. Since we do want to clock for that red. Ah, he's going to have a 4k in the center. Yep. So we're going to play the bond first. Mm -hmm. I'll play top check. I'm actually going to mill it since it's not hit for the Gil Thunder. There's no way it's two in a row, right? Okay. <laughs> on play, reveal the top card of my deck. If it's a Britannia character, I may marker it underneath Gil Thunder. While he has a marker, he gains an extra 2k power, and he is a chaser. So uh, we're going to make him 4k, as Mike said, with a Merlin Brainstorm. And uh, yeah, this card is gonna be extra annoying so let's go ahead with the direct attack for two one two two's good and, and i drop for turn i'm gonna go ahead and clock the turkey that i just drew for yellow experience i do need experience two at level one and experience four at level two so very important to get that underway okay so i do have several options here actually uh i could kill the gill thunder or you could not. Um, or I could not. Honestly, I could. I could not. The other option is going for. Yeah, you know what? Actually, let's go for. Nah, let's just kill it. <laughs> <laughs> let's just kill it. Oh, dude. I'm gonna. Wait, can this buff that? Yeah, it buffs anything. Uh -huh. Choose one of my characters. Okay. Okay, so the Takeuchi, he has an effect where I can rest himself, give one of my characters 1,000. The Dimple, if I have 5 or more cards in hand, he gets an extra 2,000. So he becomes 4,000 total, which does match the Gil Thunder. I'm going to go ahead and front here. But you could play the, the, the Brainstorm and then buff him uh, 500. You, and then he becomes 2-5. Uh, <laughs> unless I trigger, that, that would be the, the next the Galaxy Brain move. <laughs> Alright, okay. front for 2. So these are both going to be 4k. He's yeah. going to get my Gil Thunder off the board. And he's going to get his own character off the board as well, so if I were to draw the Meliodas clean cut, I wouldn't be able to have anything to reverse. Alright, uh, right. this is basically as good as I can ask for uh, against the Go Thunder. Alright, we're going to go ahead and clock Got a Samber, draw two cards. Alright, the boy's back. Oh, why? Oh, <laughs> no. oh yeah! Okay. Let's go! Alright, he's not back. Uh, I do want to get that Elaine out, though, because I could potentially use that, so we're just going to go ahead and brainstorm. Nothing there. Okay. I think actually what I'm going to do is actually just do this instead. Because mm -hmm. I do want some hand filtering off the bond. And so we're going to go with a direct here for two. One, two. Two is good. Stand. 
And draw. So Mike can now potentially go to level 1 through using the uh, Riki Ritsu. These are really interesting cards. Okay, we are going to go ahead and pop this. I'm gonna get it out of hand. Uh huh. Hmm. This is really interesting. Interesting good or interesting? This is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right, well, that is a 2-5, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> that is a 2-5, unfortunately. <sighs> no Dimple, no Riki, no second Takeuchi. Brainstorm? We should probably just go with the conventional line here so sorry you're gonna have to wait till uh never i guess i'll play i'm gonna pay one and clock myself i'm gonna head and level the turkey and search for a level one or lower character search for my turkey okay and then ritsu has the second effect where i'll play if i have experience two or higher which i do i can give any one of my characters two thousand so i'm gonna go ahead and give it to himself Putting him up to 3,000. Okay, gonna play a Ritsu Dinner Time. Hmm. I'll play Top Check 2. Um, I think I triggered that first. So I think what I want to do here is like this I'm gonna attack here for okay attack face I'm gonna <laughs> sure. yeah, I'm gonna attack here for one okay fronting for one cancel my bond effect is gonna activate when he gets reversed reveal up to three All right, I guess I'm taking a guild founder <laughs> and then I discard a card I'm gonna discard my Deanna early play definitely did an oopsie here did not I totally forget about guild founder <laughs> in the back row all the time <laughs> Oh my goodness. 1500 Gil Thunder, let's go! <sighs> Disaster. Alright, I'm gonna front here for, or side here for two. Cancel. Alright, so the original intention was that I would be uh, swinging here for one and directing here for three so that he can be stuck at level one or be stuck at level zero. But, uh. I'm stuck at zero anyway. He's still stuck at zero, anyways. Okay, let's draw a card. Yeah. Realistically, it did not matter. Let's clock this. Okay. Definitely should have attacked this here. <laughs> yeah, when, when you went to attack phase, I was like, hmm, Guild Thunder. All right, let's start with another Guild Thunder, real top, marker. And we're going to go with the Guild Thunder plus Merlin play. By markering the top card with uh, Guild Thunder, we essentially get a pseudo five-card brainstorm with the Merlin. Hopefully we can get some hits here. Oh, there's one. Hey, look at that. Fifth card, fifth card, coming in clutch. We're able to get two cards off that brainstorm. We'll grab two cards. Uh, two copies of my lane combo. Oh boy, so we know what's happening in the future. Oh yeah. Alright, so we grab two of those. And what else can we do here? So we're already winning both lanes. And uh, I can just play other cards. So we're going to go ahead and play two copies of Merlin. <laughs> oh boy, okay. And uh... Oh, level 0, 7 degrees cents, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, look at all these double R's, wow. Um, I think we're just good to go. So let's go ahead and start with a front attack with the Skill Thunder mm -hmm. for one, one. Cancel. Okay. And we'll go in with a direct attack with the Merlin for three. One, two, three. Cancel on three. Ooh, wow, nice cancels. All right. Front attack here for 5k for one. 5k. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one's good. Level zero, by the way. Draw for turn. Gonna clock another Ritsu dinner time. Draw two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I am gonna do is I will play my Ritsu dinner time first, look at the top two cards of my deck. This will give me information about whether I should brainstorm or if I should 
activate Takeuchi effect, maybe. Uh, but those two cards are not cards I really want in my hand. But using Takeuchi might mean that I have a better chance of hitting Brainstorm. So I will go ahead and activate Takeuchi. Oh, rest, give 1000, mm -hmm. then activate Takeuchi. And here is where I decide if I want to go further. I think I do. Okay, Ooh. excellent. Grab the level one terror key. That's exactly what we were looking for. And let's see how many cards are left in my deck. One, two, three. Each terror key goes through three cards. Plus I, trigger. Plus trigger. So I brainstorm for four. That leaves me at a pretty good deck state. So I will be content with using a brainstorm effect. One. Three, four. I will salvage one. And let's grab, let's see, there are, okay, so I'm very likely to get under copy. So let's go with another turkey. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put my red suit in the back row. Oh, me thinks this is triple terrakey time. It is the boy. Here come the boys. Okay, gonna give 500 to the middle. <laughs> no terrakey. <laughs> and play 1k1. And gonna swing here first. <laughs> uh, Turkey does have a climax combo. If I uh, discard a card, I can top check up to the top three cards in my deck and add any one of them without showing my opponent. These are all pretty good cards. But given that, we are most likely going to find that we will add this and this drop these two. Yeah, this is an excellent climax combo for looping because the other half of his climax combo, in addition to adding one of the top three, he gains the ability where when I front attack him on the next turn, he has the option to bounce back to his hand, allowing him to uh, grab choice climaxes off the combo because you can grab any type of card and then just keep comboing over and over on back-to-back mm -hmm. -back turns. All right, so I will trigger here for choice. I think I will add hand here. Actually, let's see. If I have... I can look at six more cards here, so it's very likely I find another choice. So I can proceed to combo next turn. I'm gonna check real quick, Dexter. Yeah, of course. All right. So I will actually go ahead and... Well, realistically, if you want this to go back, you can look at four more cards. Yeah. So, but... I will, I kind of, uh, I value finding the choice more than, than this going sending back. the choice back, yeah, because it is super reliant, the deck is super reliant on just recurring turkey combo. Um, that being said, I do want a way to pay out that stock next turn. So I will go ahead and grab a level 3 show. Okay. Okay, so in terms of power, he gains 2,000 for having experienced 2, right? Yes. So with this, he goes up to 7k. Yes. If he didn't have the experience, these would actually <laughs> tie. All right, so this is for 2. Mm -hmm. 1, 2. I will take it, and we're going to go ahead and level red. Level the Merlin. I am reversed. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and front here. Going to discard uh, the level 3 Ishiguro. Top check up to 3. Okay, looking for the choice. I will add this card and discard these. Okay. And trigger. Four, three. One, two, three. Cancel on three. Okay. And oh, okay, this one. Yeah. Final turkey. Going to go ahead and attack. Climax combo. Discard the Shigeo brainstorm. Probably won't need to. I'm gonna go ahead and look at one. Stop at one. Hmm. And trigger. Four, three. Guaranteed cancel. Hey. All right, back to you. All right, all these are dead. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna be refreshing after I draw this card, and I will be refreshing with the other seven. Yeah. So four, four choice and three gates. Okay. Draw for turn. All right, can I take a look at your waiting room? Sure. Gonna need to check to see if he has specifically level one counters, because it is very relevant. He does have the level one counter in his waiting room, so I know he doesn't have that in hand. Okay. Yeah, when playing the turkey combo, it is very important that turkeys don't get reversed 
when you swing with them, otherwise he does lose the bounce back effect and you are essentially going minus one for it. Can't bounce back if you're dead. Mm -hmm. All right, clock, or the refresh point. Uh, all right, clocking for turn. I think we're gonna go ahead and clock the ditch climax salvage. Okay. And draw two. And I'm going to, so let's see, if I do double combo, that puts me at six hands. Uh, but if I could brainstorm, puts me up to. Okay, maybe we just don't brainstorm. In that case, I'm gonna want to play this instead because I'm, I might want this for a turn where I do brainstorm. So I'm gonna go ahead and play Meliodas. Uh, when he's placed on stage from hand, if I have another Britannia character, which I do, he gains 1500 and plus one level until the end of the turn. So he goes up to three five and then four five with the two Merlins in my back row. And then we're gonna play two copies of Elaine mm -hmm. and we're gonna play 1k1. Yeah, even though my Tarot Keys, he knows I'm not going to be able, uh, I'm not. I'm just gonna bounce back. Uh, it is still important for him to try to reach at least 5,500 power so that I am forced to bounce back. Alternatively, if he is smaller, he would be forced to side or crash and he could potentially leave himself with an empty lane to take more damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna start with an Elaine attack. Uh, the reason I'm starting with this first is so I can use the combo. I currently have no cards in waiting room, so if I were to trigger a gate or a choice off the top, it would be completely useless. So we wanna put some targets into the waiting room first by using the combo. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Perfect, we have a choice target now. Okay, out of these, uh -huh. I think the card we're gonna be grabbing is the Elizabeth. 2-1. Yeah. And then uh, your timing. I will go those. ahead and activate. They both activate on the same timing, but since Randall is the turn player, he activates this effect first. Yeah. And this is going to be for three. Okay. Yeah. Going back with six, missing two choice. Okay. Here you go. Finish damage. Two, three, and refresh. Okay. Uh, next, I'm going to front attack here with the Meliodas. Okay, I will bounce back. This is going to be four, two. One, cancel on one. Declare front, I go first. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go ahead and take another copy of Elaine combo. Okay. And then your timing. I will go ahead and bounce back. And this is going to be four, two. One, cancel on one. All right. All right, draw for a turn. Let's see. <coughs> so you are one out? I'm out two because two. I milled one choice ah, off of right. the combo. Okay. Hmm. I do have a climax in my first stock. But I don't have a great way to pay it out unless I clock to level two, which I don't really want to do. Hmm. So I think I'm just gonna leave it there, honestly. Uh, and just chill. I'm gonna head and play the Takeuchi and my Ritsus. I'm gonna play over the turkeys. Ritsus. The turkeys? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will go ahead and to give 1,000 to this turkey, and let's see. If he does have the counter, then he counters up to 7-5. My turkeys are attacking for 6-5, so there is no point in kind of splitting the power here. I'm just going to assign 500 to the turkey, and I will go ahead and play the 1k1. Mm -hmm. So this will front 8,000. And Climax combo, I'll discard a Cherokee. Top check up to three. And I will grab this and discard these. And trigger for two. One, cancel. Okay. Gonna go ahead and front here. I am 6-5, so he does have the counter. He will reverse me, but that's fine. I'm gonna head and discard the low end mob. Grab this, 
It's got two dimples. Alright, trigger. Four, three. One, two, cancel. Oh boy. Okay, and final attack. Gonna discard the show. Declare for front. Top check. And discard two Ishiguros. Trigger. Four, two. What? 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 Okay. All right. Card two. Also, I don't think it's... Yeah, it wasn't possible for me to have a counter, because the card I drew for turn was the last card of my... Oh, wait, no, I did Because you clocked. You, I did you, clock. you had two chances to draw yeah. the counter, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, draw for turn. Okay. How many are you out now? I am out... Four. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and clock... I'm gonna clock Deanne's stock swap. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am out a lot of climaxes, but I've got two Merlins. So we are going to play Bon. Look at the top and mill it. And so this is another way that you can artificially make a five card brainstorm by using the Bon to mill. We're gonna brainstorm. Miss. Let's go in with the second one. We got ourselves a nine card brainstorm. Hit two. Hit two. Not shabby at all. So this puts me five out. Got one left in here. Thankfully, I do have uh, this bond in case I need to mill out mid attack phase. And what we're going to go for here is we're going to grab some mid game pieces if they're here. There's no DN early plays here. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it's one in your clock. Maybe one in your hand, not sure. Maybe one in your stock. Two Meliodas it is. <laughs> All right. In, and so instead of making, we're going to go for the end game. Yeah. Okay. And we have one here. Maybe if I brainstorm next turn, I have a chance to get that one out and use it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, But for now, let's see. I'm going to be playing... I think it's less important to use these two. I'm going to play Meliodas. He's going to gain 1,500 and a level. And then we're going to play Elizabeth, buff him 1k <laughs> to once again threaten the center lane, All even right. though I don't have a climax this time. Okay. Okay. So unfortunately, the Bon doesn't necessarily have the opportunity to mill because Mike has the yeah. option to... I won't necessarily let him do as he likes here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, is that what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to attack with Bond first so that Mike has to make the decision early before he knows where my last climax mm -hmm. is. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to front attack. Uh, how many cards do you have in your deck? There are seven cards in deck. I'm going to go ahead and bounce. Okay. So let's just hope I don't trigger it. Please trigger. <laughs> For one. One's good. And I level. I do need experience four in this deck. Or I experienced five. Sorry. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and level an Ishiguro. Is it five? I thought it was four. Uh, the Terror Key is... Oh, wait. It is four. No, you're right. I mean, you don't run any yeah, level one reds yeah, anyway, four. right? Yeah. So. Yeah, I do one red anyways. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, declare front. <laughs> five, <Bounce>. five. <laughs> and this will be four, one. Sounds good. All right. I will declare front. You're good. Okay. Nice. For two. So, this goes to waiting room, and the climax is still in my deck. Nice. Unfortunate. <laughs> Draw for turn. Okay, I will not clock. Gonna go ahead and play a terror key. And then four or more. Esper or spirit. For the terror key, minus one level on play. I can top check X, where X equals the number of my terror key, uh, number of my Estor or spirit characters. So this is another way that he could potentially find himself another choice climax to go for another round. Let's see if... Uh, well, I, I don't actually know if you have one already, so... Yeah. I will stop at two. Discard a dimple. Mm -hmm. So I do have the opportunity to actually pay out my last... Climax here, so I think I will 
go ahead and do that. So I will brainstorm. Salvage one. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another copy of the tarot key. Actually, I'm gonna grab a counter. Just to protect my level threes. Okay. And that's a That is anti-change. Uh, pay two, this uh, kill character. Alright. Okay. I'm going to tap, give... Wait, did I pay stock for brainstorm? Yes. I did? Yeah, you had four stock. Okay. Yeah. Pay one, uh, give 1,000 to Turkey, and then activate his effect. I can top check up to four and add one. I am out five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this is going to be clean. I'm going to stop here, grab the Ritsu. And then, since I have four more again, I will early play the show. Four more Esper or Claw, minus one level, on play discard. I'm going to go ahead and discard Mob Brainstorm and heal to stock. It makes me feel a lot better about my climax situation. I'm gonna put the show in the back row, maybe respond to his Diane level 3, if he does play one. But in the meantime, I am going to go ahead and play 500 and play 1k1. Mm -hmm. This is the last one and all the other seven are in there? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will want the clean trigger more here, so I will go ahead Actually, that was a mistake. <laughs> I should, yeah, I should have, if I wanted to attack with a turkey first, I definitely should have put it here. Yeah, because if this cancels, then it's like, all right, I get to mill the rest out. Yeah. Or he leaves it on the yeah. floor. Yeah, so, uh, so we're, gonna, we're just going to have to deal with it, deal with our position mistake. Gonna... And you can still get one clean trigger here, though, if you just take the top card yeah. here. Mm -hmm. So it still works out. Yeah. Gonna front, discard a copy of the turkey. Going to add this. And trigger for three. One, two. Last card? There's no Last way. card? No. <laughs> all right, cool. All eight going back. Mm -hmm. You have uh, how much hand? Six? Full hand. Full hand, okay. Here you go. I will, similar to Randall, I want to attack with the tarot key next because I want to put targets in my radio in case I trigger a gate or a choice. So I will go ahead and dart here, climax combo, I will go ahead and discard, let's see, let's discard this free too, and top check. I will grab this and discard these. I have a trigger now, or a, a character with a soul trigger, so if I tr trigger choice, it's all good. Dark for three. Okay. Three. Okay, go ahead. Two, three. Take, and I'm gonna take the refresh point and then level. Mm -hmm. And we're going to level green here. Level the Gale Thunder. Okay. And finally, I will frontier. Choice. So and I will grab. Let's see. Do I want this mob in my hand? I think I do. So I will grab the mob. Sure. How much hand size does that put you at? Six. For three. Cancel on one. All right. You're I good. will use my bonds effect. Mm -hmm. Dude. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and add the Elaine, and I'm going to drop... I'm going to drop Elizabeth back a plan. Okay. And then we are going to stand and draw. Huh. Okay. What is the line here? I'm going to clock my refresh counter. We'll draw two cards. I'm going to brainstorm. 
hit one, hit two. Woohoo! I need to take a look at my deck size real quick. Looking at 13 cards. Is the backup plan coming back to his hand? Or He's already it? here. Uh, <laughs> another one. I figured. Okay. Um, actually, what we're going to go for here is... Hmm. We're actually going to go for the 1-1 one, one anti-change. Okay. And the king ditch climax salvage. Uh -huh. The reason for that is because I know that I have 13 cards in deck, which means that if I were to do two Elaine combos, that would put me down to uh, at most three cards, or at, at, at lowest three cards. So this will allow me to mill the bottom two. Uh, we're gonna go with King. We're gonna use his effect, paying one, discarding, and swapping climaxes. And his other on play effect allows me to top check two and rearrange. These are pretty nice. Okay, and then uh, with the rest, we're going to now, uh, so we're gonna just go ahead and play the, the king. Just, actually, yeah, we'll just play the king, mill it down. We'll just play it safe. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're gonna play these three. Okay. So the Elizabeth will allow me to threaten the Terraki without needing to commit an early play of my own, because if I were to play a Deanna early play, he potentially could take advantage of that with his show early play, get an extra stock, and we're going to go in with 1k1. Okay. So I'm going to front attack here first. This is going to be 4, 3. Yeah, Randall does want to front attack there first, because if he does put me to level 3, then the Elizabeth no longer works. So when I get reversed, I'll use the effect. Terror Keep gets stunned to the top, I take out the bottom card of my stock. The funny thing was, is that if you hadn't paid out the stock, I probably wouldn't have, <laughs> have gone for this line. If you hadn't paid out that climax mm -hmm. at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, I was going to you know, force myself to do it so that I can get a guaranteed good refresh. Okay, so I front. My ability goes first. Yes. There is a climax. We're going to go ahead and get... Ooh, I like all of these, actually. I'm gonna get the free fresh backup. Okay. And for the trigger, or no, uh, your, your timing. We'll go ahead and bounce. And then for the trigger, this will be for three. Three's good. And then for my last attack, so I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna creep up slowly. I'm down to go one more. I'm down to pick up Meliodas level three here. Mm -hmm. And this one, uh, your timing. I will bounce. This one's going to be four, two. One, two. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Okay, then hit a level blue. Really wanted to stay at level two, but it is what it is. This is going to put me at six climaxes in waiting room, three of each. Okay. And I have two cards left in deck. Okay. Drop return. Hmm. Do have options here. I think what I want to do is end the turn. My goals here for the turn are I want to heal and I want to end the turn with decent compression. So to achieve that, I think I want to conserve stock and heal. So we're going to play APT Reagan. On play, I can choose a 
Master or Esper in my level, in my clock, and put it on the bottom of the deck. Okay. After that, I'm going to use Takoyaki. Okay, so we both refresh. Yes. Okay. Here you go. Alright, let's see what we can do with this. Alright. After that, I will go ahead and play two Terrakis raw. Not gonna have the Klanos combo this turn, but at this point, I feel like they have done their job already. We just need attackers at this point. Okay. like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will go ahead and give 500 here to the Terrakee, putting him at 6,000, which is 500 higher than his. And I will front here with my Double Team Reagan first for two. Take one, two, cancel. Okay, I will front here for one. Take the one. And direct here for two. Take the two. All right, here we go. Okay, looks like we're just having another turn of dirtling at two. Um, hmm. I'm going to clock Meliodas actually. Draw two cards. And then I'm going to play a Bond. Use his effect to top check and mill. We're gonna do the five card brainstorm plan. I missed, huh. All right, let's go for one more. Hit one. So with that one, That one, I'm gonna get the lane. Okay. And then, uh, I think my plan here is actually just to crash my entire board. The reason for this is because Mike's finisher has a part of it where if he reverses my character, he gets to uh, put it on top of my deck, potentially get to deal more damage. So I'm gonna try to clear my entire board and not let that happen to me. So what we're gonna do is, we're going to play Elaine. Mm -hmm. We're going to play King. On play, we're going to mill two. And then I'm going to use his Ditch Climax Salvage effect. And we're going to get Meliodas back to hand. Sounds good. <laughs> and uh, I can actually tie one of these Terrakis, I believe, with mm -hmm. this Elaine. So we're going to go ahead and go into attacks, mm -hmm. and I'm going to front here. This is going to be for one. Cancel. Okay. We're going to front with king. This is going to be for two. One, two. Two is good. And then finally, we're going to attack with bond. That's going to be for two. One, two. Cancel on two. Okay. And I'm not going to use bond's effect. Mm -hmm. How many are we doing? Three. Uh, okay. <laughs> where's, where's your squid balls now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna start off by playing a level three turkey. Top check. X add one, where X equals the number of Esper or Spirit characters. The Reagan is normally only a master, but since I have the mob brainstorm on the board, the mob gives all of my Reagans on the board Esper traits, so I top check up to five add one. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this card and discard the rest. Mm -hmm. Hmm. 
could go for that line, but I think I will hold off. Um, so here's a decision point. If I push Randall to level three, he can activate all of his huge walls and it's going to be very tough from there. So in fact, it might, hmm. Even if I attack three times, he can. Be, even if I pass or attack three times, he can always just force himself to level three next turn if he wants to. Uh, we know he has the two one Liz and multiple Meliodas already. Uh, I think in this case, our best line of play is probably just to push damage. So I'm gonna tie Aki. Mm, Squidward! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this game I used Takoyaki twice. Uh, the first time was a bit more defensive, though it did also uh, put Rando at a, a situation where he was less likely to cancel. This time it was purely offensive, where uh, we knew Randall had a bunch of Climax left left in deck, so I wanted to refresh him so I could maybe try to stick some damage going forward. Ah, SMH. <laughs> Did you get that off the top decks? Yep. Oh my god. Okay, and I will actually play my level 3 Ishiguro in the back row over the show. That way, if I trigger a gate or a choice, I can get more healers back in my hand. All right, and this looks good to me. I will, let's see, positioning. I can't wait to die to this nine. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, let's do it. Four. Goodbye, Randall. I can't <laughs> believe I'm gonna die. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm about to die to this. Squigward. Are right, you gonna cancel this on one? Two. <laughs> Alright, when am I gonna cancel this one? Uh, you're not what? Canceling? <laughs> you think you're gonna cancel? I'm gonna swing for three, you're gonna take the three. Oh, four. Okay. Well, I tried. Right. Dealing, dealing the four was still good. No. He's gonna heal back down, but at least we, we got some good damage in. Clock. Alright, yeah. it's time. You can't always leave him at level three or at level two forever. So, heal, heal. The gang's all here. Mm -hmm. So these Meliodas gain two K power if all my characters are Britannia, making them all eleven Ks to start. The Elizabeth uh, gives all copies of that Melodius, this specific one, an additional one K power, uh, hexproof, and during their battle. Uh, my opponent cannot deal burn damage to me. So in this matchup, uh, the burn isn't really relevant, but uh, they do get the extra 1k power in the Hexproof. In addition, she also gives 2k in front to level 3 or higher characters. So uh, the Meliodas's that are in front of her will be 14, and the one that's not will be 12. But wait, there's more. We oh, have, no. We have the Climax as well. <laughs> so uh, with the Climax combo, the Meliodas, oh, when he attacks, if I have four or more other Britannia characters, so basically I need a full board. He gains another 1,000 power and the ability until the end of the opponent's next turn, where when he attacks me, any type of attack, uh, I can pay one stock and burn him for two, so... It's, it's gonna be it's rough. Time. It's gonna be rough from here on. If I do even survive, I could just die on my own turn. Yeah, so I'm, it, we're already in a position where if he takes two, any two of these swings, he's dead, so... Uh, let's just get right into it. So we're going to front here. He's going to gain the uh, burn effect and an additional 1k power, putting him at 14,000. Then this is going to be for 3. And I'm going to grab a Dian early play. Okay, this is going to be for 3. 1, 2, 3. That's not good. That is very poor. All right, then we're going to me. front here. For three. All right, so uh, if I live, maybe we have a chance. Uh, we're going to get good card. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, this does force him to you know pay extra stock. Maybe stock he won't have 
Four. Four anyway. This is gonna be four, three, three again. One, two, three. Cancel on three. All right. All right. And then this is going to be four, three. Once again, three. One, two, three. Ah, there All it right. is. All right. Yeah. If I had lived that turn, I honestly, honestly would not have had too many follow-up turns. I probably would have tried to Ishiguro and play the climax and <laughs> shuffle two back and then just try to stick roll damage that way. But since he is at three zero. Doesn't look too promising either way. So. And with all these in hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe if it was at 3-1, I could have uh, dealt two instances of three, but 3-0 uh, is a whole different story. Yeah. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. This has been another Tresses Collectibles gameplay video. If you guys have any suggestions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and we will come back to you with more content in the future. Take care, guys.